Okay, I'm bored. So we're going to teach you how callbacks work. So let's get started. Let's get started. So we're going to want these two to come out. So let's get started. First of all, we create a function. We're going to call it. Let's call it greet. Why not? And. And then we're gonna console log, and then we're gonna put hello. Hello. Isn't it invoke? Hello. Hello. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't call it. Don't forget to invoke. It's gonna say hello. Cool. And then we're gonna create a callback. Let's call it CB. And we're gonna go CB. That'd be callback. And we're gonna put a function here. So we're basically gonna pass in a function. Console log invoked callback and yeah, callback got invoked from this anonymous function. So another, I'm gonna refactor this. Let's call this variable cb, and we're going to copy and paste this, and we're going to pass in cb. It's defined up there, and we'll get the same thing. See, this is easier to read. So there's two ways of doing it, and this is one way of doing it. So basically, JavaScript is very versatile because you go in and out. Anything could be everything. Like anything can be a function. Any you can pass a, you can store a function in an array. You can pass in arrays. You can pass in functions. You can pass in anything you want. It's amazing. You can pass in objects. So that's why I love JavaScript so much. And I hope you learn how callbacks work and. That's what basically a callback is. A callback is basically passing a function into a function from the argument. This is the argument right here. And so yeah, this ends my tutorial. Till next time, guys. Keep on hacking and uh, show some love. You know, give me a thumbs up. And 